Hello sports fans. This is a 2012 Harley Davidson Electro Glide Ultra Classic. I am having to change the stator out. I've already replaced the battery with a brand new one. I replaced the voltage regulator with a brand new one. Now I'm going to replace the stator. So what I did first was I got underneath, right under the derby cover, which is that thing behind where it says 103. That big round thing right there, that's the derby cover. That's how you, that's what you take off to refill the primary fluid. And the little 5 8 inch drain plug underneath, that's how you drain it. So... I've already drained the fluid. I'll pan up here. Since I just changed it, I don't want to have to, I'm not going to put brand new stuff in there, but I'm keeping the stuff I just drained in these two containers so I can pour it back in when I get the stator replaced and everything put back together. Another thing you might want to know is if you ever have to adjust the clutch, I might do a real big time adjustment. Uh, you would have to take that derby, derby cover off as well to get to the nut and adjusting mechanism that is right inside of the derby cover. So stay tuned. I'm going to have to take a bunch of parts off like the gear shift lever. Uh, the floorboards, this back floorboard, we'll keep you posted. Uh, the primary fluid is drained out now. And now I am going to plug the hole with the drain plug right under there. Here's the drain plug. And I put a brand new O-ring on it to ho hopefully keep it from leaking. And I'm also going to use some Loctite to keep it from vibrating out and leaking. A thread sealant high temperature. I think this is white in color. Anyway, you don't want to leak. So you want to make sure that drain plug gets in there really good and tight and doesn't vibrate loose. Plugging mission complete. Primary is now plugged. Okay, using an 8mm Allen type wrench with, that you can put on a ratchet. I am removing this floorboard to get it out of the way. I've got the floorboard off and I'm just putting these bolts back in here just so I won't lose them. I'm going to keep these particular ones right here. I don't know if you can see this, but I took a marker and I marked this. You see the blue line, and I matched it to the to the stationary force right here, and even up onto here. That way, when I go to put this gear shift lever back on, I don't have to guess where to where to align it align it at because you, as you can see there's very little play between the floorboard and this rear heel shifter lever so it's pretty important that it goes back the same way it came off and it gets lined up on the little splines in here in the same fashion same orientation as as it came off and so now I'm going to take this gear, this whole shifting 
the levers off. It's, you can shift with the toe, or you can shift with the heel. It makes it a lot easier when you're riding instead of having to put your uh, the top of your foot under here to shift up because it's one down five up it's a six speed you can just kick this with your heel to upshift and then you can push down on that with your ball of your foot to downshift it makes it much more easy I'm using a quarter inch hexagon with the ratchet to undo this bolt here okay yeah, there's a little there's another bolt underneath right here on the shift lever it has to be removed but I need to take this floorboard off first to get out of the way so, get it out of the way so I can move that so I'm using the 8 millimeter once again like a hexagon ratchet apparatus I'm going to use that right here and right there to remove the floorboard, get it out of the way.